Coachella tips video for you guys. I'm not sure what I titled this, but I know that I'm going to be giving you guys a bunch of tips for Coachella because last year was my first Coachella. It was so much fun, but after my first year, I just realized there was so much I wish I would have known before I went and stuff I wish I would have brought. And it just, it just honestly was a mess for me. And now that I'm going again this year, I'm like, I have this, I've got it together. And there will probably be a lot more stuff that I need to learn as well. And I'll post another one next year with like new things that I learned. But I figured I would show you guys what I'm packing in my Coachella bag, aka like my backpack, stuff like that. So yeah, let's just get into it. If this is your first video of mine, don't forget to subscribe. It would mean so, so much to me. I'm gonna be posting a ton of Coachella Get Ready With Me's that you guys really, really liked that I posted last year. They're so funny, honestly. I'll link them all down below. But if this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, let's get into it. So this is the backpack that I brought last year with me to Coachella. It's honestly just from Forever 21. I'm pretty sure it was like $20 or something like that. Super cheap. I was going to buy a Louis Vuitton backpack, the ones that are like super popular and they're like checkered and everyone has them. I was gonna buy that and then I was like why am I going to buy a Louis Vuitton backpack to go to Coachella in the desert in the dirt so honestly if you guys are needing a backpack go to Forever 21 Windsor stuff like that get one for like super super cheap because I don't know it's just super easy to use and it packs a lot so the first thing I have in my bag is band-aids these are so important and I wish I would have brought these last year I had so many blisters from walking around all day and like my booties and just uncomfortable shoes this year I'm gonna try and wear more comfortable shoes but band-aids are essential and we were literally running around Coachella everywhere like going to all little convenience stores in there buying overpriced band-aids because we didn't pack any so please 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 even if you don't think you're going to need them pack band-aids they are so important next up this might not apply to you but I always bring contacts because it is really really dry outside and it's like dirt everywhere so at night when the wind blows if you have contacts your contacts get super dry and dirty minded and I was like oh my god I wish I would have brought like solution or contacts or something I don't know if you can bring solution into Coachella so I just have this pair of contacts and I bring them so in case mine dry out I'll just like take them out and throw them and put new ones in so that my eyes feel better because Towards the end of the night, my contacts just like dry out and I can't wear them anymore. And it's so annoying if you're trying to like watch music and you just can't. These baby hairs are just like not happening. Like I can't handle them. Like can they just, oh my God. Like why? I just need a hairspray like hard it down. This next thing also goes along with like it being like dirt everywhere and the dirt blows at night when it's windy so I would bring a bandana not only are these like cute and trendy and everyone wears bandanas but you put them over your nose and your mouth and the dirt doesn't get in your mouth or like in your nose or anything like that if you have bad allergies I highly suggest this tan one I got from Urban Outfitters I don't know why I bought it from Urban go to Hobby Lobby and get one super cheap I also have like really pretty ones like this if you guys want like silk ones I got this from Brandy but I know that these are like super popular at a bunch of different stores I'm sure you can go to like Forever 21 and just get like a little scarf or something like that and just tie it around your mouth at night super cute and it helps keep all like the dirt and stuff away next are two different cameras so the first one is the insects instax yeah insax mini 70 you guys can get these at urban outfitters you guys know you guys have seen these it's a polaroid camera i absolutely love this one and you can't bring any camera into coachella that you can detach the lens from so you can't bring like a huge camera in there it's just like they won't let you so this is perfect and it's super cute and trendy along with that I also bring a vlogging camera this also can be used for like any pictures literally all my friends even if they're not youtubers they have this camera now because I take it everywhere it has Wi-Fi on it this is the Canon G7X I don't think I said that but it has Wi-Fi on it It has everything you need on this camera and it's such good quality it's perfect for Coachella so I'll be bringing this along with like this Polaroid camera and if I can sneak in a big camera I'm gonna try and do that but I don't know how that'll work along with the camera I would highly suggest bringing two separate batteries that is if you want to like bring a professional ish like type of camera you don't want it dying because there's nowhere you can charge it there are charging stations but it's just like who's gonna really sit at a Coachella charging station the whole time and you don't even have service so it's like why sit there and do nothing so I bought two extra batteries for when I go so all three of my batteries will be charged so if one of them dies I'll have an extra and I just charge them every night while I'm there next up is sunscreen you cannot bring aerosol sunscreen so if you have like the spray sunscreen you can't bring it in I think someone I know like snuck it in because it's not that big of a deal but they aren't supposed to have it there they will take it if they see it so this is the radical skin scare skin scare skin Care, skin perfecting sunscreen SPF 30 I'm sure you guys would get higher if you guys want to get higher um, SPF but this is just what I use you guys can bring any like cream look cream 
is it a cream lotion whatever kind of sunscreen just not aerosol because they do take it when you guys are going through the security at Coachella so and there's going to be a lot more security this year because of everything that has happened at music festivals in the past you guys know what happened in Vegas so Coachella is going to be like super super locked down so I would try not to like sneak anything in that you guys know is on the list of things not to bring so don't bring aerosol sunscreen bring normal sunscreen a lot of people are worried about bugs at night there aren't any bugs at night there's like literally not mosquitoes nothing at night like they're there's just like no bugs so don't worry about bringing bug spray or anything I did that last year and I was like I'm so stupid I live in Arizona I know that there's not bugs at night I'm just these next products aren't technically what I would bring like in my bag I mean you can but I wouldn't bring these in my backpack they're just beauty products so these are the L'Oreal Paris Colorista spray one day color so a lot of people are wanting to do like colored hair and stuff for Coachella and it's super fun uh, but I cannot dye my hair anymore because it's literally fried off to its end as you can tell um, so this is a super super good what is the word these are a super good dupe for that so this is just spray color on dye that have literally every color I have every color here there's rose gold purple light purple lavender green hot pink light blue I have every color here and they're from L'Oreal and you just literally spray them in the ends or spray them like on a braid in your hair or something like that and it looks really really cute and you just wash it out the next day it literally fades so quick like these normally fade throughout the day so if you wanted to you could pack these in your bag but I don't know if you can because they are aerosol so I don't know if you can but if you guys are looking for something really cool to do with your hair but you guys don't want to dye it, I recommend these. You guys also saw me talk about these in my last festival get ready with me. But these are the Fun Sexy Hair Mermaid Glow Glitter. <laughs> this is such a tongue twister. Mermaid Glow Glitter Root Glitter Gel. So that is what these are. They are glitter. If you guys want to see how I use them, you guys can go watch my festival get ready with me. They are so easy to use. And again, if you guys are not wanting to dye your hair but you guys want to do something really fun, really cool, I would highly suggest these because they look really awesome and anyone's color hair, like it looks so good and it's just glittery and cute. So Next up is a pair of sunglasses. As you guys know, these are the ones I think I'm going to bring. I'm not a big sunglass girl like if I have sunglasses they're normally just to like go with an outfit they're not normally I think I want to leave these here <laughs> they're not normally to like wear out in the sun which is not the purpose of them but I'm just like a glasses gal just for looks not really to like shade the sun but I do recommend sunglasses if you guys have sensitive eyes blue eyes are super sensitive so I should be more worried about that but I'm not next up is Advil I would highly 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 recommend bringing Advil same thing with the band-aids like Advil and band-aids I would highly recommend like don't leave those out because Advil is so important it's really really easy to get a headache from either being like dehydrated or the music is too loud or there's lights everywhere and you just easily get headaches if you do please please breeze bring Advil because it'll help you so much I needed Advil so many times last year and I just was like wow why did I not think to pack anything that I actually needed for beauty supplies these are things that are like custom to you but I would highly recommend bringing a powder this one is the covergirl vitalist healthy powder in the shade 725 it literally just comes with like a little sponge in there it's easy to get like sweaty and you're oily and you need to set your face again so I would bring a powder you guys can bring a translucent powder if that's what you want um, it's just good to set your face throughout the day if you're sweating it gets really 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 hot like so hot you guys are going to want to set your face so I would bring a little compact powder like this along with that your lip color will probably come off I don't care what lip color you have if you have a really good lip color honestly maybe it won't but I would bring your lip liner and your liquid lipstick or lipstick or gloss or something whatever it is that you put on that day I would pack it in your bag because in all your pictures when your lipstick is literally falling off after you've eaten like five watermelon you're gonna be so upset because your lips are gonna look bare and they're gonna look nude and that's how mine were last year I have so many selfies and I have skin tone lip color because all my lip color came off and I was stupid and I didn't bring a lip liner or lip color so next up this is a really bougie accessory not even accessory it's just a stupid item but I like I'm bringing it I am I don't care I don't know if I'll let this in because it is a spray but this is the Avion water spray yes it's a can of water yes it sprays out like a stream but oh my god it is so hot and it is scorching outside and you're going to be dying you're going to be so hot and you're literally gonna be like oh my god I want to jump in a pool right now but you can't because I'll mess your makeup up so Avion water spray feels amazing on your body I cannot wait to bring this to Coachella because I'm just gonna literally whip it out while I'm like 
watching someone and just be like, y'all are mad because I feel so good and y'all are sweating to death and I'm not. So if you guys want, they sell these at like Sephora in like the little like mini section at the front. I bought these in a pack of two and they were like overly expensive for literally no reason. And I still bought them because I was like, I kind of want to bring those to Coachella just because... I'm bougie like that and that's what I want to do. Next up is lash glue. I apply false lashes every single day of Coachella because that is just what I'm going for. I'm not trying to have some bare lashes, but I apply them so bad and so wrong that maybe an hour after I apply them, they start like peeling at the end. So bring lash glue because your eyelashes will probably fly off. They're also really, it's also really windy while you're at Coachella, so you're going to want like lash glue and your lashes and everything to stay on no matter if you put really good lash glue on they might peel up on the ends and you don't want to be like out there with like one lash like curling up. So bring lash glue. Next up are tampons. So you never know when you're going to sell your period. Girls, you should always have tampons on you at all times. Like literally in every single purse that you own, you should probably have at least two tampons in there because you never know when you're going to start your period and the worst possible thing that could happen is you starting your period at Coachella. They have tampons there, they have convenience stores there, but it's just like so much more comfortable when you know like, oh, I have one in my bag, I'm good to go. So I would pack at least like two or three if you start while you're there. It's super helpful. Rubber bands. These are so important because after you get all your little Instagram pictures and you take all your pictures by the Ferris wheel and you run around to all the art structures and you take all your Instagram pictures, you're sweating. The back of your neck is sweating and you're not going to want your hair down. Especially if you have 40 pounds of extensions like I do, you're going to want to put your hair up. So I always bring rubber bands or bobby pins or something so I can put my hair up so it's not in the way and I'm just like way more comfortable. Lastly is hand sanitizer. This one's a really small one from Bath & Body Works but I would recommend going and just getting a travel size hand sanitizer because everything is dirty so you don't know where people at Coachella have been what they've touched if you go up to an art structure and you're like touching on it and everything's just like dirty it just really grosses me out and I like to be clean when I'm in places like that hand sanitizer is just a must like you just have to have it I there's nothing I can say about it like you just have to have it the last thing that I would recommend that you have that I don't actually like physically have to show you right now is a portable charger because again like I said you guys are not going to want to be charging your phone at a charging station at Coachella because you're gonna be missing the entire concert and all the music going on and all of that you're gonna just want to have a portable charger with you just so that you don't have to do anything I would recommend a Mophie case they sell those at the Apple store and they also sell like a huge Mophie one that's like it's pretty expensive but it charges your phone for like nine hours or something like crazy like that like it adds nine hours onto your phone or something so I would recommend going to the Apple store and like investing in a good portable charger not a cheap one because I have bought cheap ones at music festivals before when my phone was dying I like bought one really quickly and it literally charged it like 10% and then the portable charger was like dead and it's like how do you charge a portable charger you just like can't I also want to say I did not camp at Coachella last year I stayed at a hotel so that's why a lot of my things are just like things that I would bring from the hotel with me if you guys have a camping site it's going to be a lot different because you guys can actually go to your camping site if you forget things for me I just had to like bring everything Thing that I would need and I can't go back and get it at my hotel which is like 30 minutes away like it's just not how it works so if you guys are staying in a camping site it will be a little bit different it is close to the festival so it's easier for you guys I'm going to be filming all of my Coachella outfits where all the pieces are from and everything while I'm there so I'm super excited to put that up for you guys these are just a few things that I want to show you guys that I would pack in my backpack what I'm going to be bringing to Coachella this is literally everything I'm gonna have maybe a little bit more just depending but but this is everything I'm gonna have so I hope you guys like this video if you guys are going to Coachella comment in the comments down below I would love to meet some of you guys there it would mean like so much to me I met so many of you last year so I would love to meet you guys again thank you again so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram so you guys can see when I'm actually at, Ho at Hochella at Hochella oh my god yeah mood Hochella that's where I'm going but follow me on Instagram if you guys actually want to see what I'm wearing to Coachella and what I'm doing and all that fun stuff Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video and I will see you guys next week.